What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you as a review of the Essence collaboration with New Balance on this 2002R in the brown and purple colorway. Today's video is brought to you by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles, which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of thick winter boots or for sneakers, you're going to find there's a suitable pair for everyone. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and to me I find them very comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is a collaboration between Montreal-based fashion boutique Essence with New Balance. Releasing, to me at least, unexpectedly on March 16th, these retailed for $160 US dollars or $200 here in Canada. The style code for this shoe is M2002RSS and the color is brown and purple. So for anyone watching, if you've been even remotely interested in sneakers in the past couple of years, you know just how popular this 2002R silhouette has become. And while it's great to see great colorways and great collaborations with other companies, to my knowledge at least, this is the first 2002 R collaboration between Essence and New Balance. And me being born and raised here in Canada, it's always great to see these Canadian boutiques get shown love. So jumping straight into the details, the base layer of the shoe, this is constructed out of a cream or off-white colored mesh. Right above this we have this hit of sail colored leather, and we have the New Balance N embroidered in this pale purple color. At the bottom of the toe box we have this hit of Reflective 3M done in this brown colored finish and overlaid on either side of the toe box we have this brown colored suede. Definitely the most interesting use of material on this shoe is found on the toe box. So the front toe cap is covered in this light brown colored corduroy which adds a very interesting layer of texture to the shoe. Moving downwards we see that same corduroy material and it sandwiches this sliver of suede right between it and the top two eyelets are constructed out of this dark brown colored TPU. Embroidered in the center we have the New Balance N logo constructed out of this dark brown colored suede and it's outlined with this dark brown stitching and sail colored stitching on the outer edge. Moving downwards we have this beige colored suede which wraps around the back of the shoe. Right above this we have more mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box along with this brown suede and we have 2002R branding stamped on the lateral side. Surrounding the bottom of the heel we have this perforated brown colored suede and right above this we have this New Balance branding and at the very top of the heel, we have another hit of brown colored suede. For the laces, so these only come with one pair of laces, which was a bit of a surprise to me. So the standard lace these come with is a flat style lace done in this pale purple or lavender color. And if this is not your cup of tea, I think these would look really good with a sail or white colored lace as well. Underneath this, we have a mesh tongue and the top portion of the tongue is covered in this layer of sail colored synthetic leather and we have this suede overlay on the very top with this oval shaped cutout which reveals the New Balance running branding in the middle. The back of the tongue and the inner liner of this shoe is lined in a very soft brown colored fleece like material and then as for the insoles, these come with a very well padded foam insole. It's finished in this cream color on top, we have New Balance branding on the left foot and Essence branding found on the right foot. So the upper of this 2002R sits atop this midsole, which is constructed out of Absorb and Absorb SBS technology. For the most part, the midsole is painted in this sail or off-white colored finish, and visible on the lateral side of the heel, we have New Balance's Energy Technology, which is visible in these gel-like pods, which almost resembles like a low-profile Nike shocks. So this helps with impact protection and shock absorption. Flipping the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your outsole, which is constructed out of this brown colored rubber. We have these flex grooves on the forefoot to give you added flexibility and underneath this in the middle we have what New Balance calls stability web technology which is essentially a TPU shank plate which helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these Essence New Balance 2002 R's. And for those wondering about sizing, to me these fit like most of my other 2002 R's so for me I prefer to stick true to size. So I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side, I got these in a size 10 and they fit me great. Just to give you as a point of comparison, for most New Balance shoes I wear between a 9.5 which is a half size down and a 10. So for example, I go a half size down or 9.5 in New Balance silhouettes like the 990 V3, V4, V5, the 992, the 998 and a lot of my 550s that aren't general releases with softer leather. And in comparison, I stick true to size in models like the 2002R, the 997, the 990 V2 because of its more narrow toe box, along with a lot of made in UK models like a lot of my 991s, the 1500 and the 1530. Next up in terms of the comfort, 
so I've said this before in past reviews, but the 2002R is one of my favorite New Balance models from a comfort standpoint. Underfoot, straight out of the box, it gives you a good level of plushness on the forefoot while still retaining some level of stability and structure. And it's a shoe I can wear for a long period of time. And even at the end of the day, my feet don't really hurt and the shoe still feels just as comfortable as it did when I first stepped into it. Last but not least, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship on this shoe, so this is not a made in USA New Balance or a made in UK New Balance. This pair is actually made in Vietnam. However, the material quality I gotta say was actually pretty good. I was pretty impressed with the suede and the corduroy material that they used, and it's a lot better than a lot of the general release materials we find from other rival brands. And similarly, in terms of the overall build and the craftsmanship on this shoe, I honestly didn't notice any flaws at all with my pair. I thought this was perfectly done, so New Balance just continues to live up to their reputation of high quality products. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. Like I said from the beginning, this was a very welcome surprise drop. I honestly didn't see a single thing about this release leading up to the drop, and I'm just very happy that I was able to grab these for retail and add these to the collection. All in all, I think the use of the corduroy is really what sets this collaboration apart. And I think these purple laces gives the shoe a nice pop of color. And while I understand it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, I think by swapping these for a simple sail or white colored lace could do the trick. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Essence New Balance 2002R in this brown and purple colorway. What are your overall thoughts on this collaboration? And for anyone watching, were you guys able to grab these? Did you pass or take an L? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram as well at esco8. Check me out on Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys all in my next review.